Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm excited to share with you my Christmas tree for this year. I'm so happy to be partnering today with Michael's Stores to create my dream Christmas tree. For this year, I decided to go with a white and blue kind of country farmhouse Christmas tree theme. The reason I did that is I didn't want to swap out the decor that I already have in the house. So I have a lot of blue plates hanging up from my Flow Blue collection. I have a blue and white vintage quilt that sits in my living room. And I've really just started to decorate this new farmhouse. So I kind of wanted to, since we're not fully established, just go with that color theme versus coming in with a whole bunch of new red and white stuff. For this tree, I chose from Michael's three different kinds of ribbon. I did a plaid that I found. It has a couple of tans and black, and I really liked the way that it kind of brought the country farmhouse theme that I'm going for. I also found a navy blue velvet ribbon, which I thought was just so pretty. I also found a tan, it's not burlap, but it kind of has the color of burlap ribbon. And I went into the tree and wove all three of them just kind of in and out. Now the way that I like to add ribbon to a Christmas tree is just going diagonal across the tree back and forth instead of going all the way around, just cause it's a little bit difficult and it kind of wastes ribbon on an area where you're not really gonna see it. I make sure between each loop to go into the tree all the way and I wrap a branch around the ribbon. Now that just helps it to stay nice and secure so that when my kids come over here and get excited about the tree, they aren't gonna right away rip the ribbon out of it. I also grabbed some bell garland. Now I just love Christmas bells. I think they sound really cheery on a tree. I also think they're really pretty. I liked the brass goldish color of these. I grabbed three of those garlands from Michaels and I just wrapped them around after I did the ribbon. After that, I filled in with some larger ornaments. I bought several different colors. I brought a navy blue ornament and I just used a large one to kind of fill in any spaces in my tree that looked a little bit sparse. And then I added in some white large ornaments as well. And then a few sparkly gold ornaments just to kind of give that Christmas whimsy. Then I took some flocked Christmas branches that I found in the Christmas floral section at Michael's. They look like they have snow on them and they have pine cones and I really love that natural element and then the white. So I took about four of those larger Christmas florals and I cut them down and just added sprigs throughout the tree to give it a little bit of that snow and natural pine cone look throughout the tree. I also brought in some snowflake ornaments. I found these in the wooden craft section. Actually, my girls were wanting to paint some ornaments, so we were over in that section, and I found these almost chalk paint looking snowflakes that I thought would look perfect with my tree. So I added about five of those in, and then I did a few DIY ornaments. So as I was walking around Michael's, I saw a few things that I thought would look really cute. So first of all, I found some picture frames, and I printed off some photos that I actually took last January when we first moved into this house and it snowed all over this property well before we had anything fixed up I snapped some photos of the property the barn and the little cottage in the snow and I thought those would be really pretty to put into those frames to kind of remember our first Christmas here and I printed off some 4x4 inch pictures because that's the only size I could find and I cut them down to the 3 inch size 
And then just hot glued on a little bit of jute twine and added those to the tree. I did three of those. So I just kind of tried to space them out throughout the tree so that they're not all in one area. It adds a nice geometric shape and color and then also a nice memory to this tree. Another DIY ornament I did, I found some three inch embroidery hoops at Michael's and I had some scrap grain sack fabric laying around. I just took some colors that coordinated with my tree and added them to the embroidery hoops and just hot glued on the back some string and hung those on as well. I just did three of those, but I really thought they added a nice country theme and also you know, a handmade element to my tree. I also added in some more pine cones that I found at Michael's just to bring in some more of that natural feel and add a nice wood color. For any of the ornaments that I felt like weren't super secure, I just took and wrapped the branches of the tree around the hanger and that just gives an added level of security. It also helps for you to kind of be able to arrange things. So with the bells, sometimes I wanted the bell to come a little bit higher so it would go above an ornament. I just took a branch above and wrapped it around the jute twine that it came on and that helps to make the bells sit where I want them to. All right, well I hope that my Christmas tree design that I did this year with Michaels gives you some inspiration and ideas for you this Christmas season. I know I came with this tree super early, but that's so that I can give inspiration before you go and design your tree. Make sure to check all the links in the description below. I'm gonna leave all the sources for the products that I purchased for my tree so that if you wanna recreate a country, farmhouse, blue and white themed tree like this one, you can. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're brand new, please hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a lot more Christmas coming here. I'm going to be hopefully getting around to decorating the rest of the house and sharing that on here, especially after the kitchen renovation is all done. Thanks again to Michaels for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun creating this tree. This was kind of a dream project for me to create my dream tree and I really hope that you enjoyed the inspiration. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.